How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And before we get started, I want to let you guys know about the private group. Whether you want to be a better investor or a better trader, then this group is for you. If you are interested, you can find the link down inside the description. We'll be happy to have you a part of the family. So today we're going to be talking about Lu Kong Technologies. This was requested. And I'm like, all right, we'll take a look at this stock, see what it's all about, and see if there's more potential in regards to upside. So before we get started, of course, I got to go over the agenda. So the first thing that we're going to be covering is the technical analysis. Taking a look at the overall price action, we want to know where's their support and where's their resistance. And then secondly, we're going to be taking a look at the order flow. We want to know, have institutions been loading up on shares? So we're going to be finding out. And then we're going to take a look at the breakdown of the shareholder ownership. We want to see what does it look like because it will contribute to the volatility that we see. And then when all of that is done, I'll be giving you guys my final thoughts. So let's jump into it. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis for Lu Kong Technology. Let's see how it performed on Friday. So it ended up closing at $2.12, being up 13.37%. On the low, it tested $2, and then on the high, testing $2.19. So what we want to take a look at, let's take a look at the volume first, actually. So we can see here on the Friday, it was at 9.35 million. But when we take a look at the average volume over the past 10 trading days, it was at 8.14 million. So what does this mean? Because we had more buying volume and it was higher than normal, we ended up seeing some upside in the stock today. Sorry, not today, I mean on Friday. So now let's see how it's lining up for their indicators. So we can see down below the RSI is around 5105. So it's right in the middle. And then we see the 200 day, of course, we have strength above that. We also have strength above the 100 day. And then we also can see here, it just finished below the 21 day EMA at $2.14. So what do we wanna look for? So again, what we're looking for is momentum. If it looks like in regards to the volume, it's going to be good. And you can notice this right away when you take a look at how it's doing in the pre-market, then there could be a move to the upside here. But do keep in mind, this is a stock that popped all the way up to this $3 level until it hit an area of resistance. And because we had some selling pressure, it's kind of just sold off. And you can see it's gotten down to as low as $1.81. But again, this is really at a time when a lot of penny stocks and as well as smaller cap growth stocks ended up experiencing pullbacks, right? So we can see it's kind of just recovered. And what I want to see is this $2 level going to hold up. If $2 can actually hold up, then we can look forward to seeing some moves going past this 219. That was the area of resistance on the Friday. So what does this look like? Making that move going into the 220s. This will be another area where there'll be some resistance, but if we can get past that, what I'll be looking forward to is seeing a strong move going up to 238 and after 238 essentially making that move to 250 so that's really what we want to look for here so if the markets continue to be strong what i would do in my personal opinion i won't be in this play but if i was going to be in it i would be wanting to get in say around two dollars and then as far as for my stop loss is concerned i'd have it here around a dollar and 80 cents just my strategy and as far as what i'd be looking for in regards to upside i'd want to play the move going to plus 220 so whether it be 225, 230, and so on. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for Lu Kong Technologies. So we can see here on the inflow, we had 4,620, and on the outflow, we had 4,284. We had zero on the large, but on the medium, we had 3,117, and as well on the small, we had 1,504. When we look on the outflow side, it was at 2,800. 844 on the medium and then on the small having 1441 and of course we had zero on the large when we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days you can see here we had three inflow days and on top of that just had zero so we literally did not have any days where outflow was outpacing inflow so what does this look like going into monday and as far as for the rest of the week hey things look fairly bullish here and we did see you know what ended up being green on on the day as well. So as far as the setup is concerned, there is some potential here. So now let's get into the shareholder ownership. So as we take a look at the breakdown for shareholders, you can see here as far as institutions, they own 4.09%. Corporation owns 3.63%, insiders own 20.37%, and 
and retail owns 71.90%. When we take a look at how the industry performed on the Friday, it actually looked fairly solid. So software was up 0.71%. This is the industry as a whole. And software and IT services was up 1.09%. So why do we cover these things? So we talk about this and I've mentioned this term many times, rising tides flow all boats. So if you see a lot of momentum in a particular industry, then it can have an impact on the stock, whatever you're deciding to invest or whether you're deciding to trade. When we take a look as far as the ownership is concerned, it's good to see you, you know what? It's not over 90% in regards to retail investors owning it. I know what you're saying like, Dre, why is that a bad thing? Well, this contributes to volatility. Now, what we can look forward to is actually seeing more stabilization in the price range of where it's at. But of course, when we take a look at the technicals, we got to put everything together and come up with the right estimations here. But for the most part, as far as how this week is actually looking for LKCO, things are actually looking fairly decent. So now let's jump into the final thoughts. So for my final thoughts for LKCO, things are definitely looking interesting going into the week. One thing I want you guys to understand as well, this is a volatile play because it is a penny stock. So just make sure that you have a strategy in place. And by watching the technical analysis, it should be able to help you with that. The next thing to go over as far as the short interest, when I was on Fintel and I took a look, it was around 35%. So there definitely is a lot of short squeeze potential inside of this play. And it's part of the reasons why if you're interested in those particular type of setups, you should be keeping it on your watch list or on your radar. And another thing that we had the chance to take a look at was ownership, right? We wanted to see what is the shareholder makeup. And we see as far as retail is concerned, it does take up a good majority, but we do see institutions have been loading up. They've been adding to their positions. We also have insiders. So it's a lot better balance than a lot of stocks we've covered on this this channel. So just taking everything into consideration, I'm looking forward to seeing a bullish week. I feel if we see a very strong market like we saw on Friday, which was actually very impressive from what we saw from the SPY, then LKCO could definitely benefit from this. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and we'll be talking real soon.